which even if you're not good at math, you know is really, really <laughs> close. And this is the president will try to re-energize voters at his convention this week. Joining me now is Brad Woodhouse. He's the communications director for the Democratic National Committee. Dana Bash is here uh, as well. Brad, you know, you've been shaking your head all morning as right. you've been sitting here <laughs> off camera because we've been playing all the sound from the last 24 right. hours of Democrats being asked, are you better off today than were you four years ago? I'll give you a chance to ask the question. Are we better off today than we were four years ago? Absolutely. Uh, Joe Biden does it in a very short form. He talks about GM is alive and Osama bin Laden is dead. The truth is, though, is that the American people know. I mean, we were, we were literally a plane that was heading the trajectory was towards the ground when the president took over. He got the stick. He's pulled us up out of that decline. Uh, we were losing 800,000 jobs a month. Lost three and a half million jobs. Americans, I know, don't forget, have not forgotten this. We lost three and a half million jobs in the last six months of the Bush administration. We've gained four and a half million jobs over the past two and a, you know, two and a half years. So if you just put those side by side, clearly we're better off. However, we have a long way to go. So just to be clear, the answer this morning from Brad Woodhouse, the DNC, yes, is yes. We're, we're absolutely better off. I don't Yesterday, think however. Uh, for Martin O'Malley, he was a fairly well-known governor of Maryland. The answer was a little bit different. Let's listen to that answer. Can you honestly say that people are better off today than they were four years ago? No, but that's not the question of this election. The question, uh, uh, without a doubt, we are not as well off as we were before George Bush brought us the Bush job losses, the Bush recession, the Bush deficits, the series of desert wars charged for the first time to credit card, the national credit yeah, card. But so he says no, you say yes. Is there a disagreement well, here? Well, let me say that what I do agree with him about, I, 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 that this is a question about where we go from here. Last week in Tampa, you didn't get any of that from the Republicans. What are you actually going to do? I mean, it was one of the biggest criticisms, even from the right, about Mitt Romney's speech. He didn't talk about a rationale to elect him. He didn't talk about what he would do. And you will see that this week in Charlotte. The president will, will talk about, uh, in this convention, will talk about where we were, uh, where we've uh, where we've come and where we want to go. Dan is itching to get forward. a piece of this action. So isn't thank you? Isn't this? Well, first <laughs> oh, of all, I just want to say I don't know. I, I just want to say this is clearly what you get when you bring the spokesman for the DNC on. You he had an answer. An answer <laughs> but why is it that it took 24 hours to get that kind of answer? I mean, you would think that the two leaders of the Obama campaign would actually be able to answer that the way you just did. Well, look, I, 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 look, I think that they articulated in, in broad form what, what I just said, and that is that, is that we, really, we really have moved the country forward. We have a long way to go. I mean, look, we don't want to be Pollyannish about this. People understand uh, that there are a lot of people out there hurting, that we need to restore uh, middle-class security. That's what the president has worked on. I think we would be a lot farther uh, down the road if Republicans had worked with the president, if they had reached a deal uh, on a grand bargain around debt and deficits, or even if they had adopted the president's jobs plan or portions, uh, or portions of it. But I think we all agree we've moved the country forward. We need to continue to do Brad, so. Brad, I'm glad you're here because we can get your first reaction. You're going to be the first to react to a brand new video uh, from the Republicans out this morning. Oh, I can only imagine. <laughs> uh, that, that, that talks about President it's Obama and his promises versus accomplishments. Let's sure. play this video so we can get your first ever reaction. These are the steps that we must take. There are plenty of steps we can take right now, right now to start getting our economy back on track. To help create jobs and grow this economy. If we are going to deal with our dependence on foreign oil, if we're going to end our dependence on foreign oil, we'll recruit an army of new teachers. I want to recruit an army of new teachers. Make college affordable. Make college more affordable. And repair our crumbling roads and bridges. We've got crumbling roads and bridges. Have to give him credit for uh, for some good video searches there. Well, I mean that's great. They they have a, they have a wonderful research department over at the over at the RNC. Uh, the truth is is that some of the things they pointed out there, the president has done. He has made college more affordable. He's taken out the middleman. He's reformed the college uh, reformed the college loan system. We've created four and a half million jobs. He promised he would do something about health care. He did it. He promised he'd end the war in Iraq. He did it. He promised he'd given the opportunity he'd go after Osama bin Laden in Pakistan. He did it. He's kept his promises. Uh, you know, the Republicans made a pledge. The other thing they didn't have in there, they could have had a little 2009 camp caption. Uh, the Republicans, Paul Ryan was in this meeting, met on inauguration night 2009 and plotted the obstruction of the president's agenda. And once they got control of the House, 
uh, in, in 2011. Uh, they have done that. They've obstructed anything on jobs. They've obstructed anything on debt and deficits. Uh, Paul Ryan uh, encouraged John Boehner to walk away from a grand bargain because he said it would help the but, president. But at a minimum, when you so. play that sound together from four years ago versus yeah. today, it does leave the viewer with the feeling that, gosh, we're still talking about these things, that there hasn't been the progress in here that we've wanted. Well, look, I, I, we, these are issues that I think if you go back, if you look at some of the uh, C-SPAN footage from previous conventions, we're talking about these issues uh, in memoriam. But we've made progress on these issues. Really, when progress started to wane, the Republicans took over the House and they said they weren't going to help on jobs. They weren't going to help on debt and deficits. They weren't going to try to reach, reach any solutions because that would help the president. Dan has been there the whole time yeah. in Congress you while this is going on. Yeah covering Congress. Right. <laughs> um, no, but, but actually that leads to what I was just thinking about as you were talking. Going forward for this convention, it's a hard line to walk, right, in between touting the, the accomplishments that you believe that you have made and reality, which is people out there are still hurting. How, how, can you just take us inside about how you all are talking about that messaging and walking that line? Well, look, I think the one thing we do is we're not going out there, like I said, we're not going to be Pollyannish about it. We're not, we're not talking like uh, the economy is going is going gangbusters. We understand people are facing real real challenges. Some of the, those challenges are we we're in a deep hole. It's taken a long time to climb out. But you know we need to also talk about a vision uh, a vision for the future, and we need to talk about those things that'll get the economy moving again. A balanced approach to debt debt and deficits. Uh, a, a an approach that builds the uh, foundation of this economy from the middle class out, not the top no down. No mystery celebrity guest, right? Uh, no mystery <laughs> celebrity guest. No empty chairs. All right, Brad Woodhouse. Thank you so much for being right. here. He came with a clear answer. Yes, he says. We are better off today than we were four years ago. Absolutely. Answer this morning. Thanks very much, Indiana. Great, Thank Great you. to Thank see you, you back here. You. All right, so what does President Obama think about Clint Eastwood's shtick at the Republican convention, the empty chair that Brad was just talking about? He says, just a flesh wound.